What's up techies? I want to talk about 7 disappointments I have with the Galaxy S7 Edge. Don't get me wrong, the Galaxy S7 Edge is a really nice device, but that doesn't mean that it's perfect. So in this video, I want to show you the stuff I've been disappointed with with the Galaxy S7 Edge. Now this more than likely kind of does actually pertain to the Galaxy S7 as well, as I'm really not going to get into the Edge features. This might be a long shot, but I really do want the Samsung devices to start coming out unlocked completely with carriers. In other words, carrier support across the board. It is so nice that I was able to just go to the Google Play Store or Huawei and buy the Nexus 6P. I had that choice, I could do that. And it didn't matter what model I got, I could just get that phone, put it on any network that I want. The same thing goes with the Moto X Pure Edition. They did the same thing and it was so nice to be able to just buy from Motorola, go through their custom Moto Maker and all that jazz. As much as some people kind of bounce around with different carriers, it really would be nice to just not have to worry about what carrier the phone is with. If I want to sell the phone later down the road, it'd just be nice to be able to sell it straight out without having to worry about this is a Verizon model, this is an AT&T model, this is an unlocked version, GSM, whatever the case might be. It just needs to be unlocked to all carriers. The next thing I want to talk about is really just more of a personal preference, probably the most preference out of this whole video will be, is that I really wanted a white version of this. Verizon with the other US carriers did not offer white, and I really, really do like the white color on a phone. Silver is pretty nice looking, I wanted to give it a try, but if I could do it over again, I probably would get the black instead, because I only had black, silver, or gold to choose from. Continuing talking about the look of the phone, the glass back is not my favorite build, it kind of makes me nervous that if I were to drop it, which I actually dropped it the other day, fortunately I had a case on, I don't want to take the chance of breaking the front and the back depending on how the impact happens. Now I've been fortunate enough to where I haven't had that problem, but I don't want to have to have that in the back of my mind somewhere that one day it might drop and it might get broken and the repair would be so expensive that it'd just be worth getting another device. Let alone if it's even available, which I'm pretty sure it's not available at the moment. Along with that glass back, it's a fingerprint magnet. You have to have a case on this or a skin or something to not have all those fingerprints all over it. Now the phone feels awesome without a case on it. I love the feel of the phone without a case or skin, but it's almost a necessity because of how much fingerprints actually end up on the phone. You'd think with the silver design that you wouldn't see as many fingerprints, but in any least bit of glariness, you're gonna see those fingerprints. After using the Moto X Pure Edition and the Nexus 6P with those front-facing speakers, I really got spoiled on those things. While playing a game or watching a video, it is the perfect experience having the speakers on the front. Front facing speakers make a world of a difference when you're consuming media. It really is that good. What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do and I've got an unboxing. What's going on? This is what we just do and I've got an unboxing. I'm thinking this is something from Anchor. I could be wrong. We'll find out here. After using any other phone besides Samsung, you're going to get used to one feature, which is the back button placement. Samsung has it on the opposite side of the phone compared to everybody else. Now personally, it doesn't get on my nerves that much because I end up getting used to it, but it would be nice to at least have the software to be able to where you could actually swap it, something like what the OnePlus 2 has done or the OnePlus 1. It's really cool to be able to swap over those buttons where you wanted them versus just having a stagnant spot. The launcher is another issue that I have. One, the app drawer is just kind of jacked up a little bit. I don't really care for the UI. Then also the app drawer button's kind of off place this time and there's really no way to adjust it. What I actually do is install Nova Launcher and I've done this for years. It's because I love icon packs. I love to set up my screens the exact way that I want to. Samsung could really take some notes from these third party launchers because they really offer a great experience. Android is known for being able to customize, so why not let users customize even more? The last thing I want to touch on is the status bar. There is just way too much going on up there. 
If you have any of your features turned on, it's gonna show up on that status bar, such as Bluetooth, NFC, your alarm, your signal, your Wi-Fi signal, battery status, and your time. Then once some notifications start coming through, it's just gonna get bogged down even more. They need to give you options to where you can show what you wanna show and hide what you wanna hide. Now those are some features that are really just kind of pertinent to me. Those are some preferences that I have, but it does kind of go along with some disappointments that I've had with the Galaxy S7 Edge, but these are good things. Like they're not that big a deal. A lot of them I can really just kind of get over easily, which is a great thing because this phone really has turned out to be a really great experience. I plan on going over those experiences in some other videos, so you definitely want to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos when they come out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And until then, stay techy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you like this button. Oh my gosh.